Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I'm here with Beth. Hi, YouTube. We are going to check out Dungeons and Dragons: The Collection on the Sega Saturn. It has uh, uh, Tower of Doom and Shadow over Mastara. It was more recently released on, I think, PS3 and 360 as a digital game, a downloadable game. And uh, it's a Japanese-only title that came out for the Saturn. Pretty expensive, about like 80 to 100 bucks usually. I got mine a couple years ago on Amazon for like 40 or 50, but I actually never played it yet. So, looking forward to check this out. Dungeon Band, Dragon. Right. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick the fighter. Should I be a cleric or a dwarf? The elf is a girl. You can be an elf. It's up to you. No, I'll be a dwarf. Okay. The only thing that I think is in Japanese is like the menus and the story. Um, so like if you go into the game to buy things, like here. I think this is your name. Uh -huh. Just go to down right hand corner. And push the thing on the bottom right. Back. Um, when you go to buy things, you have to, like, you know, know what item looks like or whatever. Alright, here we go. That's the dwarf and I'm the fighter. Oh, if you hold uh, X, it looks like X is switching, like, items. Okay. And if anyone's wondering how I'm playing this, it's only with S video cables as I do not have an up converter for the Saturn. Or anything else like that. Oh, you pick up money instead of pushing A. Whoa. Fucking hyena. Pick up the money. Break open the chests. Oh, I need help. Help him? Yes. Let's help him. We didn't open the chests, though. No, I tried to, but then he came in. I guess we could have told him to fuck off and we didn't have to help him. But it's too late now. The ground feels weird. Let's go, Beth. Beth the dwarf. Let's go in this cave. Let's go in this cave and... Fucking die like that movie The Descent. See, I think if you push. Oh, whoops. Oh, what did you do? Okay, so C uses your item, X changes your item. Oh, wow. See? Changing my items to the bottom. Oh, I got pumped on fire. Left and right, left and right. There you go. You have to, like, <laughs> wave the. You like that? You have to wave the fire off, the smoke off of you or whatever, the fire. <laughs> So I'm laughing because I set myself on fire. Oh, that was a trap. Excellent. Good job, Mike. Oh, darn it. Good job, Mike. You can set yourself up oh, money. Don't fall in the hole. Now, I love these old-fashioned, like, beat-em-ups. Um, they don't make them much anymore. They do sometimes, they'll do, like, compilations and ports and stuff. But I guess they just, the longevity of them isn't so great. You know, kind of like you beat them once. And the only one I could think of in, in recent memory was, uh, the one on the Vita that was really good. PS3 and Vita, um, shit, I can't think of the name of it. The one they were making a big deal because the girl had big breasts and everyone was all upset. I could see the, the picture of the game in my head, but... I don't remember the name of it. It's very good, though. Dude, I keep playing. There you go. Oh, there's more stuff. Pick up your money. So, yeah, X changes your item and yeah, so C uses it. But I don't know what my items are. Yeah, me neither, because they're on Japanese. Uh oh, fuck now. Why did I turn purple? 
Did the color change? That's an ogre. You always ask me what an ogre is? That's an ogre. Pick up his birth control pill. Got it. It's, it's the treasure chest. Ah. I don't think the wires are a little funny, because it looks like it like brightened up a little bit. We hit a new level. Pick your nose. Touch your cleavage. Smell my fingers. I don't know if we need any of this stuff. What the hell's this? Bought it. I don't know what it is. Oh, this is health. What's up? This. You don't have enough money. Uh, yeah, I guess. How do you exit up here? Bye, lady. the second disc? You know what? I think it's similar. We're gonna cut in like another minute and then show off the other game so we can kind of compare. I hear they're similar, but I guess we'll see. Do you like this one, Beth? Yeah. What do you, do you like the graphics or something? What do you, what do you like about it? What don't you like? So you like that it's simple? Yeah. I like the like bright graphics and like the fun gameplay. It's not like too crazy, you know? Plus I was like Dungeons and Dragons type shit. Urgh, pick up the jewels. Snatch. Guy Ritchie. I need the gold. Give me the gold. I wonder if you could save your game. Lots of loading screens. Luckily, they don't take too long. Oh, shit. No. We're not helping you. Die. It just gives like a game over because I didn't help the guy. Alright, I guess we're gonna stop here. Oh, I walked in there. Uh huh. <laughs> we're, by the way, you can double tap and run. Look. I can't because I'm. Because you're gone. No, he's telling you to go. No, I'm not going. We're gonna stop here and put the <laughs> other disc in. Be right back, guys. Okay, and we're back with the second game in the Dungeons and Dragons collection. And this is, uh, I think it's called Shadows Over Mistara. Definitely seems like it has longer load times so far. Um, by the way, I think these were both arcade games originally. Hit start. Alright, um, magician. Thief, dwarf. Who are you hitting? The magician? Yeah. I'm gonna be the thief. Thief is the girl. Mm. Alright. Thief is a girl. It looked like a girl. It was a girl, yeah. The icons at the bottom. Okay, so instead of using X to switch through the what do you call, now it switches through this. It's like a 
The wheel of items. The game looks pretty similar, I would say. You know, new characters and stuff. Uh, maybe a little more fluid. Got a spell. Oh, it got dark light out before because it's getting brighter out in the game. I think. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. We save fucking village people. Please enter your name. No. Bottom right and just hit the thing at the bottom right. Oh, wait, keep going. To the... Keep going. To the right. All the way to the right. There. You passed it. There. Down, down, down. Hey. shit on the floor over here. Oh, here it is. We double jump. So I would say, if you like games like Guardian Heroes, Golden Axe, Final Fight, you probably like this. It's pretty cool. Uh, I like the little attention to detail with the graphics. You know, the old school. Well, it's old school now, feeling. I think Stealing all your gold. Job magician lord. Uh -oh. Owl bear. <laughs> Fucking hate owl bears. I wonder what my like specialty is. Oh, besides getting lit on fire. And you're doing all this cool magic and shit. What am I doing? Loading, I don't know. Maybe like a boss is gonna come out. Bum bum bum. Fighters. We start. It has a lot of load times. The other one's much more streamlined. We start. You can pick your character. Okay, I guess you pick 
Did you pick the elf this time? I didn't pick anything. Oh no, you picked the same guy. How did I, how did I pick? You had to push like D pad left or right. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Just do it the wrong way. <laughs> So, Dungeons and Dragons collection on the Sega Saturn. Um, really cool game. I like the graphics. I like the sound. I would definitely play this with Beth and beat it. It's fun. Um, is it worth like the 40 bucks or whatever? Yeah. If you don't have a Saturn or an action replay to try it, then uh, maybe get maybe get it on the um, you know Xbox Live or PlayStation Store or whatever. Um, Beth, what do you think of it? I liked it. It was fun. It wasn't okay. too hard. Yeah, it's got it's got a you know we put it on easy I think, but it's definitely fun. So, thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.